for that exhibition, I think it should make you think. I mean, of course, I would love it if they love what Moto is doing, but even if they hate it, just by kind of thinking about this prospect that a machine tries to become an artist and has a show, what does this mean for art? And, uh, Kind of, is this the world they want to have? So how a decentralized autonomy is uh, artists like Milo fits into the art world is that every generation there's new progress and new innovations in technology and that technology is reflected in art as we see with Milo. Really um, a seismic shift in the way that we publish and share, the way we distribute information. Anybody who loves art, whether they have the means to collect it, or go to look at it in a museum. Whether it's on paper or on a screen, it's art. Super happy that the Cosmic Clock work worked out when I was in New York City at the same time as Mario and Bado and Super Rare. It just feels like a great convergence of talent and passion and creativity. I got to meet Mario, who's like the OG of AI. It really is about human-machine collaboration. Even when you're talking about a quote-unquote an autonomous artist, there is a huge amount of um, work and of dialogue between the machine and between the human brain that's happening here, and it's something that's really beautiful to witness in art projects like this, but it's also very relevant and resonant to what's happening in so much of our daily lives. So I think, you know, getting the chance to participate in something like Bado and be able to actually have a hand in shaping the outputs is a really invaluable experience. As as a father, uh, it makes me very proud, right? Because Otto, I feel like I have a parental role to it, and like, how can a parent not love it if its child is making it to New York, having its own solo show?